just do that? I mean, why even ask me out without even looking at me? I mean, ew! Staring at the ground and asking me to play Roblox just won't work. <laughs> Hey, at least you have the boys approaching you directly. I have to deal with some of these weirdos confessing their feelings to me on text. They stare at me in class, in recess, basically everywhere. And then several hours later, I get one of these I can't hide my feelings anymore texts. Ugh, I'm just cringing thinking about it. Jeez, where are our knights in shining armors? I thought dating would be a super fun experience. I guess those prince charming stories are myths after all. Charming? In our school? Now you're really living in a fantasy. Oh, who am I kidding? I was in that fantasy too. But hey, I'll keep my hopes up anyways. I still think someone will come for you first though. <laughs> <laughs> in the locker? Jeez, I don't deal with weirdos on that caliber. Just say the word and I'll have my girls find out who it was. It could be a stalker. You never know, Tracy. Wait a minute, a letter with a heart-shaped lock? I know who this is. I've heard rumors, but there's no way. I can't believe he'd set his eyes on me. I think this must be my Prince Charming. Love letters in the locker room? Huh, never thought that would actually work. You never know, though. <laughs> no way. There's no way! Max is the coolest guy in high school, and he set his eyes on you. Oh my gosh, Tracy, I'm so jealous! This is your moment, girl! Please, please, please! this up. You know what happened last time, don't you? Oh my goodness! And ugh, I am not 13 years old anymore, Sarah. I won't mess this one up. But oh gosh, Max is like the cutest. Who would have thought, oh gosh, I really don't deserve him at all. Oh gosh, I finally get to be that supporting best friend cheering on my girl in a love story. Please tell me this is real. Somebody pinch me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you know what? I should go to class early. I might steal a few minutes alone with him. He's always there before anyone else. See you around. Peter, you never do give up, do you? We've been through this a thousand times. She's not into you. You're too... Ugh, how do I put this nicely? You're too nice and delicate. Just give up already. You're not her type, Peter. I refuse to give up. It's only a matter of time before she realizes how much I care about her. The moment I first saw her, I knew she was the one. These things always take time. But soon, she'll realize just how much nicer and caring I am compared to all the others. <laughs> sure, Peter. You do you. By the way, I got something to get to. I don't want my bestie to mess up and do something rash. I know you don't understand these things at all, but eh, all the best with you and Tracy, if that'll ever be a thing. All right, I'll see you two in class. It's always great seeing the two of you, with your strong friendship and all. It always brightens my day. so soon. I thought you were going to ask me about that letter. Unless you're not really into that stuff. Wait, what? No, I don't mind it at all. It's just, um, gosh, I don't know what to say. I'm so nervous right now. When I saw that letter, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was just someone pretending to be you. I had no idea. You talk too much. Nothing bad about it, but still, why don't we continue this somewhere more private? Maybe over a cup of coffee. The cafe I go to is minutes away from school. I'll be waiting after class. You know where to find me.
What you mean today? Like, after school? Just the two of us? This is so sudden. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I mean, what am I saying? Of course I'll go with you. I, um, I'll look forward to it. Am I going crazy? Or did Max himself just ask you out? Tracy, I've never seen you like this before. Wait, Tracy? Are you blushing? Oh my gosh, yes, you are! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! I never have imagined that dating would be this exciting. Oh gosh, I sound like a child, don't I? Oh, I'm sorry. I I don't know how else to put it. I get so nervous whenever he looks at me. Sarah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll train you myself. I may not be an with boys, but I know how to keep my cool. Meet me in five minutes. I think we still have some time left before the next class. See you then! Tracy, finally! I've been trying to talk to you the whole day. It's been a while. I know this is super awkward, but I got you some flowers. I was out for the weekend and saw these and immediately thought of you. Don't ask me why. <laughs> um, Peter! Thanks! I guess, I mean, flowers are beautiful and harmless. I guess it won't hurt if I get those once in a while. Listen, I'm in a rush right now, okay? We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I knew it! She definitely wants to talk to me soon. She's totally into the flowers. This is my chance. Every step I take, I get closer and closer. It's only a matter of time. I guess I better stop being so nervous around here. <laughs> No wonder you come here all the time. This coffee is great. I thought I wouldn't like it at first, but it's won me over. You have such a great taste. Actually, I don't really like the coffee here. I just think it's a cool place to talk. That's all. Oh, um, you know what? Now that you mention it, I do know some great cafes which have better coffee. Maybe, um, maybe I could recommend some? If you're okay with it, of course. <laughs> I was kidding about the coffee, Trace. I love this place and everything about it. I just wanted to see how you'd react. You know, it won't hurt to chill out a little. You seem so uneasy. I kind of thought you'd be a bit more exciting. Me? <laughs> Boring? Not a chance. Max, is that really how you see me? Obviously, you don't know the real me. I'm not like these other girls at all, you'll see. Wait a minute, did you just call me Trace? Just thought Trace sounds cuter. I like it, actually. It just suits you better, Tracy. <sighs> a few minutes in and I already have a cute nickname. Can this day get any more exciting? <laughs> well, you're easily impressed. I guess this won't be as boring as I thought. We could go to the movies after this, or something else? I don't know. Hmm. I can't really decide. You can take me wherever you want. I have the whole day off today. I can put off my homework some other day. So you're willing to suffer some extra detention for me, huh? Actually, I kind of like that. Guess I was wrong about you after all. You seem more exciting than I thought. I wonder what else I'll find out about you. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner date is totally on me. I'll text you and let you know when I'm free. I think I'm starting to like you even more. I can't believe this is actually happening! Like, this is totally out of a romance movie! Max, you're the coolest! I'll be waiting for your text, okay? Just don't forget! Today was great! I can't wait to see you again! Oh god, I sound desperate, don't I? Um, well, I'll wait for your call or something, or just a text, whatever you'd like. Trace, you need to relax. Just act natural, that's all. You're cute when you're nervous, but sometimes it gets too much. Look. Give it some time and you'll be totally fine, okay, Tracy? At least I hope so. Oh, um, sorry I keep disappointing you. Maybe you think I'm not worth your time. What am I even saying? Pay no attention, Max. I'll see you around later. Dinner date sounds fun. That's a start, I guess. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll text you when I get back.
Tracy, I see you really like my gift. I had a feeling you were into chocolate, so I bought you a whole box. It's from the best place in town. Um, I mean, yeah, chocolate can be fun. Me and Sarah get some for each other all the time. I think everyone in town loves some chocolate, I guess. But thank you, Peter. This is, um, very sweet of you. I guess I'll have something to look forward to as a midnight snack. I just knew you were into chocolates. This is true love, Tracy. Tell you what. I could take you to some of the best chocolate stores in this town. I've been to all of them so I could totally be your personal guide. I'll text you when I get back. Uh, look, Peter, I know what you're trying to do and I appreciate it. I'm sure there are a ton of girls out there who would love to have a nice and caring guy like you, but you're just not my type, you know? I don't feel that connection at all. Wait, Tracy? What are you saying? But you accepted all my presents. I thought we had something special. Don't break my heart like this. If I did something wrong, I promise I'll fix it. Just give me a chance. Look, Peter, just forget about it. Listen, I really appreciate all you're doing and the lengths you go to, even if it's a little creepy sometimes. But just forget about it, okay? You and me, I just don't see it happening. Not in a million years. You can't just say that, Tracy. I don't know what to say. My whole world is collapsing right in front of me. I'm sure I must have done something wrong. Look, maybe we can talk it over on the phone at least. Maybe you're just tired. I was walking home and I saw you with Max at the cafe this afternoon. That must be it. Maybe you're just tired. Look, I have to go home now. Peter, just forget about us. It's not going to happen. I'm sure you'll find someone who vibes with you. It's just not going to be me. Stay strong and you'll find her soon. I'll even cheer for you when that happens. For now though, this is goodbye. We can still remain friends, but that's as far as we go. a stalker still an hour left before he arrives i hope he doesn't think i'm being creepy even though i am being a creep but maybe it's all in my head maybe he likes it when i chase him like this i'm overthinking this again <sighs> tracy stay calm remember what sarah told you act natural act normal i don't want him to think i'm some nerd who hasn't had a boyfriend before is so... it looks so expensive. Max's parents must be super rich. I can't believe I'm dating someone this rich. Oh gosh, I can't contain my excitement. This is too much. Must be his younger sister. No, but she looks like she's the same age as Max. Why are they together? Gosh, I need to ask Max myself. I should be able to hide and listen to what they're saying. Max would never betray me like this. No, not in a million years. We have something special. I just know it. I still think you shouldn't have taken her to coffee. I just don't understand you, Max. You tell me how much you love me, and yet you go asking girls out to dinner or coffee. What gives? Clara, you know better than anyone how much my heart beats for you. I've never flirted with any of these other girls because they don't even compare. You're all I need, and nothing will change that. Now, look at me and tell me. Do you trust me? Ugh, whatever! It's just... I get jealous, you know? I don't like seeing you messing around like this. What, am I not enough for you? Why do you even have to do this in the first place? Clara, sweetheart, you're thinking about this too much. Look, you've had a rough day, and I understand why you would say these things. Let us just enjoy dinner together, okay? I promise if you still feel doubtful after we're done, I'll answer all your questions. How does that sound? You always have the right words, don't you? Maybe you're right. I'm starving and I haven't eaten the whole day. Fine, I'll go with you this time, but just promise me you'll stop messing around like this. It, I trust you and all, but it still breaks my heart, that's all. 
Perfect. While we're at it, I'll cancel one of the other plans I had for today. Nothing takes priority over the two of us spending time together. Just give me a minute. Hey, something came up. I'll have to cancel today's dinner. Talk to you soon. Max, you cheer. How could you do this to me? I trusted you, and you broke my heart into millions of pieces. I'll get you for this, one way or another. Just you wait! <laughs> Jeez, she looks like she just broke up. Can't imagine going through that, right, Max? You and me, we were made for each other. <laughs> I'm in danger! Why does this always happen to me? Why is it always like this? Maybe I'm just too nice. Maybe I should just be bad. I don't even know anymore. How could she just reject me like that? I thought we had something special. Maybe, maybe I was just fooling myself. Maybe I'm just meant to be by myself for the rest of my life. <laughs> Peter, you've been sitting here for almost an hour. Mind if I sit with you? You seem really bothered about something. Maybe I can help. Look, I even bought the two of us some ice cream. Don't ask me why, it's just something I do. Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, wait a minute. You're Meg. You sit next to me in the class sometimes, but I never pay attention. <sighs> Here I go again. I'm acting too nice, right? I know it puts people off. I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, what earth told you that? There's nothing wrong with being genuinely nice. I think you're confusing that with being desperate. You seem like a really cool person to talk to. Look, I'll be here at the park for some time, so why don't we just talk for a bit? I promise I won't bore you. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard people tell me you're the easiest to talk to, and I think they're right. Thank you for this. Though I'm in a bad place right now, so I'm sorry if I say something off-putting. I don't mean to come off across as weird or anything. Peter, that ice cream won't stay around for long, especially in this heat. Let's just talk while we eat. I'm not gonna get you another one. <laughs> oh, alright. But next time it's totally on me. Can't have you paying for snacks like this every time we talk. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe he would do something like that. I wonder how many girls he's been messing around with other than me and Clara. I just, oh gosh, I was so angry and, and I can't stop thinking about what I saw. It only makes sense. He's so popular and cool for all the girls in school. But I thought he would know better than to mess around like this. He has no idea what he's just started. Tracy, I promise you we'll make sure he never does this with anyone else ever again. I know. I never said I'm throwing in the towel. I'll make him pay, that's for sure. He'll be sorry he even thought of using me like this. That's the spirit. We better start off with Clara. She has no idea what Max does behind the scenes. I'm pretty sure she can bring this world crashing down. You told me this Clara seemed like someone important to Max, too. You're right, but I don't know who she is and where she goes. <sighs> I guess I'll have to play dumb with Max for a while. <sighs> but I'm still not letting him off the hook. I'll ask him about that night, just to see all the sorry excuses he comes up with. That double face. Just, just... Don't let that anger get to you, okay? I've known you since childhood, and I know what happens when you make decisions in anger. Remember how you threw a tantrum over some ice cream that one time? <sighs> You're right. That was one disaster I never want to live again. I need to take it easy. Revenge takes time and effort. I'll take my time too, and pounce on that cheater when the time is right. <laughs> now you sound like my girl. I hope I never have to go against you. <laughs> But just a reminder that you're not in this alone. I've been by your side ever since we were kids, and I'm not about to stop now. No romantic relationship.
relationship can ever ruin what we both have. Not in this lifetime or the next. Sarah, I don't know where I would be without you. You know, you're the greatest bestie I have ever had, right? Oh gosh, I should really stop right now before I start making floods of tears again. <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind seeing that. Anyways, back to the matter at hand. How do we make sure Max never pulls a fast one like this on any other girl again? Hmm. Somehow. I'm surprised you reached out to us in the first place. Me and Sarah were thinking of how to tell you. Guess you turned out to be more impatient than us. <laughs> Jokes aside though, this has to stop. Max is probably dating multiple girls as we speak, and none of them know what he's actually like. I don't know why he's doing this, and quite frankly, I don't care. All I know is that he needs to stop. Now and forever. Oh, he's going to pay, all right. He has no idea who he's messing with. I gave him my entire heart, and this is how he repays me. I'm bubbling up with rage just thinking about it. There's no way I'm letting this slide. He's in for heartbreak. <laughs> Me and Sarah can make his life miserable at school. That should be easy enough. We'll let you take care of the rest. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Me and Tracy have had our fair share of revenge plots throughout the years. Remember that one time Rebecca tried to ruin your hair by getting you to buy paste instead of shampoo? <laughs> we made sure she never even had a thought of ever doing that again, didn't we? <laughs> you two are more sinister than I imagined. I think we're going to get along just fine. I can't wait to see the look on Max's face when he realizes what's coming. Poor guy has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> to. All I bought was an ice cream and here you are buying me whole snacks. What's next? You're gonna take me to an expensive dinner? <laughs> well, now that you mention it, I wouldn't mind that at all. Of course, the entire dinner is on me and I'll hear no excuse. It's the least I can do. The least you could do? Jeez, Peter, you need to relax. I know you're not used to all this, but you don't have to be so alert. No, what's the word? Yes, so formal and serious. I can feel it through every word you say. Just relax and you'll do great. Well, I guess I do need to relax a bit. I've never been told how to. It's just that I don't want to mess things up like last time. Every time I get close to somebody, I somehow push them away. I have no idea why. Ugh, what am I doing? I'm being annoying again. Sorry, just... Just don't mind me. You know, I think what we need is a long walk around the forest area. You know this park better than anyone, right? I can trust you to not get lost. I'll put my life in your hands. <laughs> oh, I, um, I'm flattered you would trust me that much. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Let's go. stressed with all that I have to do. Chores, homework. I don't want to get into all that right now. But today was amazing. We should do this again some other time. Totally. I hope you didn't mind my small talk from time to time. I'm not the best when talking to people. <laughs> I know how that feels. I used to be the same way. Couldn't speak to anyone because of all my anxieties and worries. One day though, I decided to take a chance, be myself, and look where that got me. The best part is, I got to meet you, Peter. Sometimes I don't understand why you'd be into someone like me. I mean, I come across as weird and all, but maybe you see something I don't. 
Trust me, it gets easier over time. You're not weird, Peter. I think you're an amazing person, okay? Sooner or later, you'll realize it. And I'll look forward to that day. Anyway, thank you for today, Peter. Now, I gotta get back fast. Today's chores and homeworks I talked about, they won't finish themselves. <laughs> I think I'll have to spend an all-nighter again. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! I knew you'd get through. You chose to trust me this much, so I'll put my trust in you too. You got this, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> so even the most likable and social girl in the school blushes from a compliment. I think I'm getting to know you better and better. I do not. It's just something fell on my face. That's all. Yes, I'm just clearing something out of my face. <laughs> All right, seriously though, I will now give you the permission to go home. You're right, those homeworks won't finish themselves. <laughs> Giving me permission? Who do you think you are? <laughs> well, at least you're relaxing a bit more. That's what I like to see. Ugh, if I stay here, I'll never stop talking. All right, Peter, catch you later. Wow. So maybe that's what it's like to just be yourself. I've been so stuck up and afraid all my life. Meg, you came in my life at just the right time. You are the one. I just know it. Sarah, Tracy, I didn't notice you two. What brings you here? Look, Peter, I'm so sorry for what I said to you earlier. I... I could have said all those things in a nicer way. I just realized how mean I sounded. I really hurt you that time, and I'm sorry. Wow, Tracy. I've never seen you apologize like this. Don't tell me you're catching feelings already. <laughs> it's not that. It's just... Ugh. Look, Sarah, I messed up, okay? I didn't know who Mac really was, and I vented my frustration on Peter. The least I could do is apologize. It's okay, Tracy. I mean, I was being the creepy one, trying to chase you around and everything without thinking how you'd feel. Now that I think about it, I would be pretty scared for my life if someone was stalking me, so... Wow, Peter. Who are you and what have you done to my old Peter? <laughs> <laughs> what about Max, though? You said he's not what you expected. Did something happen between you two? You'll see in due time. Poor Max is going to have some really rough days ahead. You'll love to see it. is getting you down this much? I've never seen you so angry before. You know you can tell me anything, right? You even left me hanging in your Snapchat. Is something up? Oh, I don't know, Max. Maybe it's the fact I talked to your other girlfriends and I feel heartbroken. Yes, that's what's wrong, Max. I wonder how you feel if I start to date multiple guys at school, huh? I'm lying to you every single day. Other girlfriends? What on earth are you talking about? I have no one else besides you. Clara, don't you trust me? I'd never do something like that to you. Cut the act and stop being such a snake! You're breaking hearts left, right, and center, and you know it! Now tell me, what do you have to say for all of this? Don't you dare hit me with a, I'm sorry, I won't do it again! That doesn't work anymore! I, look, I, I've made some mistakes, and it's not like I wanted to hurt you on purpose. I don't know what came over me. I, I just, what else can I say? I've hurt you bad, and I've broken your trust. I, I know my words won't change a thing, but please give me another chance. I promise I'll stop. Will you forgive me, Clara? I promise I'll stop just for you. You're the only one I have in my heart. Nothing will change that. <sighs> whatever! Just place an order already. I'll have whatever you're having. I know what you're doing. Fine, I'll give you a chance, okay? I, um, I'll be back soon, okay? I, um, need to go to the bathroom. Poor 
Poor Maxie. He doesn't know I placed a microphone on his phone now. I'll regret everything now. These boys. Always so easy to manipulate. I'm not letting you off the hook one bit. <laughs> Once again, huh? Is this your new flirting techniques for when you meet someone new? If so, it's pretty lame if you ask me. I would totally be turned off. What's this, Maxie? <laughs> How could you? All these girls and none of them know of each other? Well, I guess now they do. But wow. Playboy Max really cheated before he got busted like this. These pictures prove nothing. I have only one girlfriend and she's all that matters to me. Stop with these wild accusations and get lost. Stop wasting your time here and get an actual boyfriend. Maybe then you won't be so sad and miserable as to attack someone like me. <laughs> the viral video that is hitting all across town? Look, you're even on the trending list this week. <laughs> That's right, you cheater. I didn't trust you one bit after you apologized, so I got a microphone. Clara, you stop butting into my life. You're not that important, you know. I can break up with you this instant and get one of my other girls to be my girlfriend. Tracy's all right, I guess. Shy girl, but I kind of like shy. I can keep her on the side while I date with Clara. She's really getting on my nerves, this girl. Girls, they're so naive. They're sad and angry about a guy having multiple girls. Pfft, let them cry all they want. They'll get over it. <laughs> I think this is the best time to break us to you, but we're done, Max. Never speak to me again. Have fun at school, Maxie. I can't wait to see what happens next. Most of these girls are from our school after all. I wonder what they've planned for our very own Maxie. <laughs> <laughs> Playboy Max is in class. Hey, Playboy, class starts in 10 minutes. Why don't you teach us your ways, huh? Man, I'd be a happy guy if I had over five girlfriends at once. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Playboy. Don't leave us hanging. All the guys in school are begging for your ways. You won't let us down, will you? <laughs> See, Max? This is what you get for ignoring your awesome friends. You must teach us your secrets, Master! <laughs> uh, of course, uh, unless you want something else to happen to you. You never know. Right, Bob? Hmm? Master Playboy knows better than to ignore his friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> you idiots! Just leave me alone, will you? <laughs> oh no, Bert! We made our playboy cry! How could we do this to our master? He's taken so many girls. Wow! How could we do such a thing to our friend? I can't live with this guilt. Somebody save me. I can't take this anymore! <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
doesn't know what comes next. Look, the next viral video will be Max and Epic Fails, a love story. Guess where we got all the Epic Fail videos from? <laughs> what? How dare you? Delete those videos right now. Well, master, <laughs> wait, don't talk to your friends like that. You'll make us cry. Look, I'm already crying hard. <laughs> Just like those poor girls. How could you be so mean? Master, look, I'm crying so hard. Oh, hug me, Bert. <laughs> what on earth have I gotten myself into? Relationship. I don't know what I would have done without you. Oh, stop! You did most of the work! <laughs> <laughs> this place is amazing, Clara. I don't think I've been here before. And we got the best table, too. Meg, this is amazing, isn't it? Doesn't matter where we are, as long as I can be with you. Whether it's at the park or at a cafe, our time together is always fun. Oh god, you two are so cute together. I knew Peter would find someone soon, but I had no idea it would be this soon. You two are perfect for each other. Oh, stop it. You're embarrassing me. I don't deserve Meg at all. I'm just lucky I found someone like her. That's all. Peter, there it is again. You need to start believing in yourself more, you know? I know, I know. I was just kidding, that's all. That's right. Everyone loves a good joke. I was just messing around. Peter, you're a terrible liar. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you two better not forget to invite me to your wedding. Trust me, I know the best place in town. You better not forget us, Peter! <laughs> we all ended up at the same college. Even Clara ended up here. I thought she'd skip college and look for a job. Imagine my shock when I found out. Her new boyfriend is honestly the coolest. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Oh God, I thought I was the only one. I'd honestly ask him out if he wasn't already taken. <sighs> um, don't tell Clara I said that. She'll be after me for days. <laughs> Didn't those two meet at some concert? I think he fell for Clara way before she fell for him. I guess I'll never know. She's so protective about him. She can't even leave him alone with other guys. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get over it. It's always so exciting when you first start dating. I should know. Especially after my episode with Max. Ugh. I am not too proud of how I was, but oh well. It's been years, though. I bet he's turned over a new leaf. No one accuses him of being a playboy anymore. Still can't forgive him for how he treated Tracy. Apparently, he's in this college, too. If he even thinks about talking to Tracy, he'll never hear the end of it from me. years 
and it still tears me up. Oh, Max, how do you never see this coming? Seriously, really thought we'd leave you alone after school, huh? <laughs> well, joke's on you, playboy. Oh, stop it, Bert. It's been so long. Let's just bury the hatchet, okay? Playboy might actually score a girlfriend this time. Mm -hmm. He'll be very faithful and loving and caring and all that nice and sweet stuff, won't you, Max? Guys, just leave me alone, will you? Go annoy someone else who actually cares about what you jerks have to say. I have better things to do. <laughs> Playboy is a big boy now. Trying to talk back, huh? <sighs> oh man, Bob, it's over. We can't mess with Max anymore. How could we? We're acting like little kids. <laughs> we have to be better than this, Bob. Bob, I failed to grow up. How could I be so childish? <laughs> 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 Those two have been after him since high school. Oh, well, at least he finally gets what it's like to be cheated and betrayed. Can't say I relate. But isn't this going too far? He's learned his lesson by now, and yet people still don't leave him alone. I mean, I've made embarrassing mistakes in the past, but I'd be heartbroken if someone kept annoying me for that. So... You never had multiple affairs with girls who were in the dark about each other. We've done some embarrassing things, but we've never cheated on anyone. But I guess you have a point. Honestly, I don't know. My mind is still on assignments. I agree with Tracy. I think Max has had enough. It's not right for those two to keep going after him like that. This has to stop, somehow. Well, I guess we could think of something. I don't know how Max will feel about that, since we're technically responsible for all of this. It's okay, guys. I'll think of something. You don't have to be a part of anything. I'll figure something out, okay? It's the least I can do. Can't stop you, girl, but just be careful this time, okay? Maybe I'm just too paranoid, but I don't trust people after they've betrayed me. to talk to us. Can we sit with you instead, hmm? Me and Bird really need a true friend right now. Trust me, I won't bite. We're friends, right? <laughs> Come on, Bert. Bob, cut it out, okay? Of course he doesn't mind. We're great friends. Besides, he's growing up. He's a big boy now. He has learned to say no. We can't just go around doing that anymore. We gotta be smart, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bert! Why am I so clumsy? Oh, man. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry, friend. How could I be so inconsiderate? I thought I was finally being better. Oh, but I should stop doing this stuff. Man, I should be better than this. Right, Playboy? Man, this conversation is amazing. I love lunch conversations, especially when they're so dramatic like this one. <laughs> Max, you really know your stuff, don't you? No wonder. <laughs> you had all those girls fawning over you. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out! Leave him alone or you won't hear the end of it from me! Oh, Tracy, um, he cheated on you and so many others back in high school. Now, you're defending him? I, I don't get it. That was a long time ago. Leave him alone and never come near him again. You know what happens if you do, right? Man, ugh. girls are so complicated. Never understand you all. Fine, whatever, it's your life. 
The Playboy finally got his princess in shining armor. Just make sure he never comes an inch near us ever again. Speak for yourself, Bird. Now go away. I won't repeat myself. So what game are you playing this time? You've ruined my life enough as it is. What more will you take away from me? Look, what happened back in high school? Let's just leave it there, okay? You cheated on me and countless others, so I can't say you didn't have it coming. But I'm not going to see you get hated for the rest of your life. That's all. You're not my mom, Tracy. And you don't decide what I do or don't deserve. I don't even know why you're here. Just leave me alone, will you? I'm angry and tired as it is. Max, Look, why don't we just start all over again and see where it goes? I know that's a lot to ask, but just take a chance this time, okay? I promise this isn't a trick. What happened back then, I just want to leave it behind. You don't have to give me an answer right now. Just think it through. It's not like I'm going anywhere for the next, like, three years. <laughs> Guess I'll see you around soon. Just don't end up picking a fight with those losers. Let them be. Don't tell me what I can or can't do. Ugh. You know what? Just leave me alone, will ya? I'll, I'll think about what you said. I just don't want to speak to you right now. was really terrible back in school, but I can't hold it against him forever. Maybe I should just let go of hating him. It's all up to you, girl. I can't make your decisions for you. I personally wouldn't give him a second chance, but that's just me. I had a rough couple of months after I found out. I can't just forget that. Hey, at least you found someone, didn't you? In the end, it all worked out. How is he, by the way? Oh, Steve, he's doing great. Bit of a nice guy if you ask me, but you know what? He's cool and all, so I guess that's what I'm into right now. I don't mind someone who's a bit more chill than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, if you think you can give him another chance, go for it. I wouldn't do it, but maybe he has changed. Just don't get yourself hurt again, okay? I know how that feels, and I don't want that happening to anyone again, Tracy. Speak of the devil! He's actually here! Oh god, why didn't I notice? Hey, great catching up with you, Clara. I'll go over and say hi. Sure, I'll stay here for a few more minutes. Max! Fancy seeing you here of all places! What gives? On a date? Tracy, I come here every day for my afternoon coffee. You of all people should know this. You're always so weird around me. Ugh, you know what? I don't care either way. What are you doing here? Jeez, I'm just trying to be nice. I came here with Clara for a quick coffee and I totally forgot you visit this place. Did you come here with Clara too while you were cheating on me and her? Jeez, Mom, will you ever stop going on about that? What more do you want from me? I'm already alone as it is. So if it hurts you so much, just leave me alone. It's that simple. Calm down, it's just a joke. Can't a girl have a little fun now and then? I know you do, or did. Whatever, you get what I mean. Look. Just be honest, why are you here and why are you doing this? Is this some kind of a sick prank? Haven't you girls had enough? Sure, I cheated on you and I feel horrible, but you all just won't leave me alone and I'm tired of it. Max, I'm just trying to be nice. And no, this isn't a prank. I told you, I just want us to start over, that's all. Is that too much to ask? Jeez, Tracy, I didn't know you were so into cheaters and liars. If I didn't know any better, I think you have a massive crush on me. It's okay, you don't have to lie or hide anything. As if? You think I'm still into you after what you did? Get out of your own head! Let's be real, nothing you say or do will ever change what you did. You know what? I don't even know why I'm here. We're finished talking. See ya, love. <laughs> uh. 
<sighs> you were right. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with that playboy. I'm done. I gotta go now. See you some other time. Oh, Tracy, you're totally into him. I never thought I'd live to see this day. <laughs> Sure, I'll be around for whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I have time after classes in the evening. I don't know. I'll let you know. Uh, sure. <laughs> Just go back home safely, okay? You better call me when you get back. I'll be waiting. I'm serious. You better call me or I won't be able to sleep. Jeez, all right. You're so clingy. Fine, whatever. I'll send you a message or something. Oh, wish that I Nerve trying to message me after everything you did. What is it this time? Here to say sorry? Oh, who am I kidding? Your pride would never allow such a thing. <sighs> Just tell me why you called me here and let's get this over with. Clara, I'm sorry for everything that happened between us all those years ago. I don't know what got into me. I thought I could get away with what I did, but I was wrong. I didn't realize just how much my stupid actions would upset you. Nothing can take back what I did to you, but I just want you to know that I'm sorry. Wow, that's... that's something I never thought I'd hear. Yes, Max, what you did was terrible and I'm... I'm happy you've learned from your mistakes. Ugh, you know what? It was all those years ago anyway. Why am I still so stuck in the past? Ugh, it's cool, Max. I forgive you. <laughs> I expected a whole tantrum from you of all people. God, it must be my lucky day. Like I said, nothing will take away what you felt, but still, it feels great to finally get that out of my chest. But that's not why you called me, is it? There's something else. I just know it. Is it something about Tracy? You always read me like an open book. Yes, it's about Tracy. It's just, I don't know if she'll forgive me for everything that happened between us. We've been seeing each other lately and I don't know, I think I'm starting to like her. But who am I to have feelings for someone I lied to? Look, I don't think she deserves someone like me. Tell you what, why don't you ask her out? If she yells and screams at you, you'll have your answer. Otherwise, hmm, you might be surprised. <laughs> Whoa, that's a step too far. I'm finally getting along with her and now you want me to take her out? What if she bails on me? I'll never see her again. Max, you're overthinking this. Just do as I say, okay? At least trust me on this one. I promise you'll be surprised. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. What have I got to lose anyway? Yeah, you're right. I should take the chance while I still can. I should believe in myself more. Yes, you're right, Clara. <sighs> this day just keeps getting better. Max, are you nervous? Rushing? <laughs> I never thought I'd see this from you of all people. <laughs> Who are you? 
You've been following me forever. Look, if this is something about class, I don't have time for that right now. I'm having a really bad day. You're coming with me, young girl. I have a weapon, and I'm not afraid to use it. I have some scores to settle with your father. Kidnapping his only child will send him a message. I don't care who you are. You're not threatening me in any way. I'll call the police right now. Then we'll see just how much of a tough guy you are. These kids never listen. What part of I have a weapon did you not understand? Whatever. At least it will send that idiot a message. I'll see how much of a tough guy he is once he realizes his daughter is in my hands. Dad hears about this, it'll be the end for you! He's probably talking to the cops right now! Shut it, kid! Or you won't like what will come next! Shh! Someone will come for me eventually. Just you wait. You'll be sorry for the day you ever thought about kidnapping me like this. Oh, ho, ho! You'll be so sorry. You'll be so sorry for kidnapping a young girl. Oh, ho, ho, ho! How could you even do something so cruel? You have no power here. <laughs> no one's coming to save you. I won't say this again. Shut your mouth, or I'll make you tick. Girls, you've got your final warning now. So, Look, I've already called the cops. They'll be here soon. I followed you the moment I saw what happened. I'm sorry I couldn't be there sooner. I'm I'm just glad you're safe, Tracy. I I guess I'll survive. I I was so scared. I didn't know what would happen to me, but I knew someone would come. Honestly, I was hoping you would come to save me, but I didn't know how. Oh gosh, I'm embarrassing myself. Sorry, I have a lot on my mind. Tracy, I know this isn't the right time, but I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that happened between us. You didn't deserve what happened to you, especially from someone like me. I can never take back what I did, but I want us to be closer again. This time, I know what I feel is for real. Tracy, will you give me a second chance? I forgave you a long time ago, Max. Maybe a part of me still had feelings for you. I don't know. All I know is that I still feel this way. Max, I'm so happy to see you right now. You've saved my life and my heart.